here we go. Seven carts out on the racetrack. First place, we got Enderby. Second place, Weber. Third place, Luke. Fourth, Jabubby. Fifth, Cecile. And then we got uh, Kenny, I believe, in sixth. Sorry, it's just really small on my screen. Sometimes I can't really see it. Ferrone, I don't know why I thought that's a Kenny. Ferrone in sixth with Pipsburg, who is indeed Joel in last place. So we're going to see if there's any racy situations that will emerge from this. And I can't wait to get this racing underway. I'm going to try to be a cameraman and a commentator at the same time. So we'll see how this actually works. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Excuse me for the camera movement. Once again, this is my first time doing this. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to see the first corner if I, uh, I'm just gonna have to s stay with this 1X cam here. Some things might be a little bit far away to see, but. So something else that's really uh, a lot different is that the drivers are actually, the, the pit lane, excuse me, is actually going to be wide open. So they could just pit whenever they want. Oh, one other thing that I want to mention is if you see any drivers ra raising their hands, that means that they are just about to go into the pits. So now we are waiting for the first lap. When the lights go out, we're racing. And here we go for 45 minutes here at Leedsdale. Everyone gets a pretty even start going through turn one. Everyone, nice screeching tires, no bumping so far, going through the double hairpin, which once again is new. There's a bit of a spin, and that's gonna move him down into last place. So let's see who that was. That's part 18. Excuse me for my terrible camera work. I can't commentate and comment I am do camera work at the same time, but now Drew has moved up two positions, and he is now in fifth place. So the front four are now in a bunch, all waiting as it actually Enderbeast gets a whole bit of sideways, which will make all the drivers behind him get a little bit more bunched up. There's a bit of bumping in the front there. So in first place, we got Enderbeast. There's a little bit of contact there. Gets the switchback. Joel tries to get the switchback. He has the inside. And he is now in the running for third position. Luke is on the outside. Now he's going to lose two positions. He just lost two positions. Drew has already made up three spots and is now fighting for third place with Joel. Enderbeast has a bit of a gap there with Weber, not too far behind. Joel, then Drew, then we got Luke, and then we have uh, Ferrone and Cecile going side by side through turn one. And it looks like that Cecile did make the move done. He is now up in the sixth position. What a race start. And that was only two minutes of driving now. And now the front two. Are, have uh, gone away. The middle two have gone away. We got Luke in a bit of a bubble, and then the back two are in a bit of a uh, of a bubble as well. So Weber now with the fastest lap is starting to gain on Enderbeast ahead. And uh, Weber is Anthony is right on the back of Enderbeast, waiting for the correct moment to strike. Drew is also on the back of Joel here. They're both waiting for the right moment to strike. I believe Drew might make it happen right here. He does do a little bit of a bump to Joel, but he can't make the move happen. So he's gonna wait once another, once another lap, and Joel got a little bit sideways, which compromises Drew a little bit out of that second hairpin. But now Joel is starting to catch the pack in front because they are starting to fight a little bit. Bit of a bump from Weber there going into turn two. A bit of a bump going into the hairpin, and now, Drew and Joel are now in the mix. This is working great for Drew. He has now made up three positions and is waiting for another one. He does not make the move yet, waiting for this clump to actually come together, which it is starting to beautifully. And now the front four drivers are all together. So at one point, they were in a bit of a bubble, but now, as you can see by the camera obviously the top four are now fighting with Weber pushing 
pushing, uh, excuse me, Enderbeast a bit wide there, getting a little bit sideways, which just brings Joel even closer to the mix. I wonder when we'll be able to see these first people pit. So in my experience of karting, Weber is not the greatest at overtaking, so we'll see if his weakness might play in his favor if he pits a little bit early. Cecile in the 6986. Great lap from Cecile there. So the top four is still in it for this front, for this first place position. Oh, I can't find my cursor. <laughs> Oh, there it is. So now it's actually the top. Oh, as Weber gets a little bit sideways, gets, uh, uh, excuse me, Enderbeast a little bit sideways, and now the top four are really in it. The fifth person is now going back to it. And we are five minutes into this race, and it's still really close. Top six now. Six drivers in the mix here all for first position. They could all work together to try and make something happen there. A, a big bump because of Joel is actually bumping him. They go side by side. It's four wide going into the double hairpin. Joel's on the inside go overtaking Anthony. With Anthony trying to, a little bit too hard to defend now, he's going to be on the outside again. He loses two positions. Drew is now on the inside again. Bumps Joel a little bit. Joel still has the inside though. Oh, Joel gets a little bit sideways. And there's a big bump that happens there. And Joel gets the short end of the stick. Driver's going all, all so slowly. And Drew, who was starting in last position, has now found himself in second. So what an amazing drive from him. And now Enderbeast has a giant lead. Who is that in the pits? Cart number 20. Cart number 20. That's going to be Farone. He's the first person in the pits. He changed out his cart. He's buckling up. Enderby's laps him for a second time. Something wrong with his uh, with her uh, visor there. She flipped it up a little bit, but what a battle we had here. And we can see Farone has changed into cart 16. Wow, that was some action. You don't normally see that much action five minutes into an endurance race. And uh, a bit of a spin out, unfortunate for Joel, unfortunate for Anthony because he got all the short end of the stick. He was in second, now in fourth. When do you think is gonna be the best time to pit? This is where I would ask my rhetorical question to my second commentator, but unfortunately, I'm the other one in the booth today. So, we got, uh, excuse me, we got Enderbeast. That name keeps leaving my brain. Enderbeast in first position, who has a, an amazing lead. She keeps flipping up her visor. I wonder if there's a bit of a visibility issue, a bit of a sweat issue. I wonder what's exactly going on there. Joel is getting around the outside there. He's getting a little bit racy with Cecile, who actually still has the fastest lap of the race with a 16.97. Gaining and gaining on Joel. Joel had a bit of a compromised line. And the drivers are now, oh, it looks like Cecile's trying to look up the inside there on turn two, but does not make the move happen. And now with that compromised line, he is still on the back end of Joel. Is Joel's cart, oh, Joel is now pitting. Joel is now pitting. He still has his hand up. He can put his hand down. I don't know why it's up for so long. He's driving one-handed like a baller. Absolute unit. And Joel is now going to dive into the pit lane. He is now on caution speed into the pits. And he's going to end up into last place, I believe. So we are now seven minutes into this first stint. We only have two drivers pit. Maybe his heart started dying. His, his hands are going up in the air. So you can see there in the bottom corner of your screen, Joel is now pitting. It looks like he is pitting into cart number 21, which is not the greatest cart here at 3RK, unfortunately for him. So the bad luck just keeps getting worse. And, it, and just some great driving from Drew. He actually just set his fastest lap of the race, going a 17.069 in second place, only a 2.8 second gap to Enderbeast ahead. 
I mean, yeah, I'm, I apologize, uh, Jaden, for not looking at your message earlier there. There's just so much going on, but yeah, not enough space for four carts, a bit of a spin out there. And unfortunately, uh, Joel got the short end of the stick and now it looks like, oh, Luke has pitted. Well, I was looking at it and is that Drew? No, that's Ender Beast. Our leader is pitted. Weber is going into the pits. It's a mad dash for the pits as we are now hitting the nine minute mark. Let's see, Ender Beast's uh, teammate, I'm not entirely sure of what his name is, but I will just keep, he actually has to get a junior seat out. And that's the seal pitting. Card 18, he is now pitting in. So let's see, who are our drivers still out? I believe Drew is not pitting yet. So Drew is now, he went from last to first, so the challenge is already completed. How long can he stay out here? How long does he dare stay out in this open air and wait for his cart to die? Let's see exactly what his plan is going to be. Cecile still with the fastest lap of the race. And Cecile is now up into second place, but he just dove into the pits. He's just jogging. I don't know why he's not running. There he goes. He's running now. But now that everybody is into the pits now, now all the carts are starting to separate a little bit. So this is where the, uh, the lull starts. Drew is now going to the pits. Drew is now officially in the pits. This is the perfect, this is actually gonna be 10 minutes out on the track for, Joel, for Drew. And going through the second, second to last corner, the final hairpin here. And now he dove into the pits. He is our last person to pit. So I am interested to see exactly where he will end up in the standing, which unfortunately is not going to be Drew. It's gonna be the slower driver of the two which he is not actually that slow of a driver, but, and it looks like cart 16, who is Barone, he is pitting again. Is he pitting again, or am I just, I don't know, I, I, I think he might be pitting again. He is in the pits. I wonder what happened there, I, I thought he pitted already. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw it at home there, but I, I thought he pitted. Hmm. Very confusing from uh, from him, but right now it does appear that Hipsburg is in the lead, but he has not come out of the is he not come out of the pits yet? His card isn't going. His card isn't going. There's an issue with his card in the pit lane. Oh no! Disaster strike. Pittsburgh. Unfortunately, his cart would not go and he just lost so much time. Oh, so unfortunate for him. Sorry for my bad camera work there, but it was just something that I had to uh, swivel to. And now there is actually a bit of a scruffle here. Weber and Luke and cart 14. The cart 14, that is going to be a lap driver, which it doesn't matter about lap drivers. They're actually going into it. Second to last corner here. Too wide through the final corner. This is for position, I believe. Luke does have the inside. Weber giving him all the room in the world. And that brings cart eight into play, which is Ender Beast. Enderbeast is now a him from the uh, from the driver change. Enderbeast is now not no longer a girl, <laughs> and he is now all hot on the back end of Weber. There, he actually lifted in the first corner. So I wonder if there's something weird with his car, or if he was just trying not to bump him yet. But 15 into the wall a little bit there. Unfortunate. That's not going to find you any anytime there. But so there, the carts are now starting to get a little bit. They're starting to get a little bit closer together now. Just a tad bit closer. So let me s take a quick look here at the, at the board. We actually have Luke in first place. He now has the fastest lap of the race at a uh, 16.961. Very impressive from him as 
Actually, cart 14 gets a little bit spun out in that final corner there. Is this cart starting to die? I wonder why he's pitting so much. Or am I just trying to think of that same guy over and over again? But that compromises Ender Beast, who has now found themselves in fifth position. So we got Luke in first place, Weber in second place, Joel in third, Pittsburgh in fourth, Ender Beast fifth, Cecile in sixth, Ferone in seventh place. Thank you guys for tuning in for these first 14 minutes of this endurance race. A lot of action has happened already and a lot more to come. We're not even a quarter, we are a, a little bit over a quarter of the way through this race. We're heading to a third of the way. So you don't wanna miss the winner of this. It is still anybody's game here. Weber is only 1.14 seconds behind the leader who is Luke. He actually gained exactly one tenth of a second on Luke on that on that particular lap. So yeah, it's it's going to be very interesting to see these drivers and see exactly what they are capable of and see exactly what they can do for us here. What if they can put on a show, which it looks like there's a bit of a show happening through this as they're going a little bit side by side through that second hairpin there. Whoa, what is going on with Card 8 there? He's going all over the road. I'm not sure if that's legal there. A bit racy from Ender Beast there. No, he was really going all over the place. I mean, he's definitely leaving the drivers guessing on what exactly to do. Give him props for that, but Weber has now closed down the gap to 0.8 seconds. 0.9 seconds. He has got a bit of a Luke got a bit of a gap there. But Luke has set it. Luke just set the fastest lap of the race at a 16946. What is going on? What is Card 8 doing? I am extremely confused. I don't, I don't know if anybody could explain to me exactly what's going on there, but he is just not driving exactly how you think he would, but Luke is now starting to pull a little bit of a gap to Weber. 1.2 seconds, he's back to square one again. That's crazy. I mean, Luke is setting, oh, 16.906. He's still setting faster laps. I mean, Luke, he does have, he does have that clean air ahead of him. Nobody in sight for a long time. So he best better use a lot of this time to try to set these really fast laps. Unfortunately, with that slow pit, uh, pit stop, Pittsburgh is now in fifth place. So he's not gonna be, uh, he's actually dropping down a little bit. He made a few mistakes, not too consistent. Um, this is actually, Excuse me, this driver's thir third time down here at Three Rivers Karting. And uh, first time on this new layout. So very impressive actually times from him. First time on pro speed as well. So big, big congrats to Pittsburgh there. So 28 minutes actually remaining in this race here. And uh, I mean, I hope you guys are enjoying this at home. I mean, this is quite the race so far. I really couldn't ask for anything more for an endurance race, especially with electric go-karts, because not a whole lot of overtaking really happening all that much, so. Very exciting race so far. Um, post in the chat who your predictions are to win this race. I want a little bit of fan interaction here. Oh, Ender Beast is into the pits. I missed that. Ender Beast into the pits now. Cart number nine. It is the Ender Beast back into the cart now. Going down the main straight. Nice safe release from her there. And now the uh, the woman is back on the track here. So uh, I'm very excited actually to see exactly how much time they can make up because they are now in they are actually now in last place. So start a pull. And it's now last, and uh, I guess that's just how endurance races be. I mean, Luke sets another 
fastest lap of the race at a 16.8. Those are blazing fast times, especially for this brand new track configuration that was only put into place last or two nights ago. 16.8.9, he is very consistent. He's definitely going to be a weapon during league uh, this year. Stay, I mean, stay tuned for some of the videos here that are going to be forthcoming. Joel makes his way up into second place. Uh, Joel uh, is actually Weber Pitts. Weber is into the pits. Joel is now into the pits as well. I guess we are hitting that pit stop marker where a lot of the drivers are going to be diving into the pits at the same time. So, actually, who is that getting into a bit of a battle? Cart 4, who's Cecile. And we have... It's so hard to read the number from your cart. 14, Ferone. So Cecile, Ferone's actually a lap driver, three laps down. I mean, Luke is setting some extremely fast lap times here. I mean, absolutely insane. Maybe his cart's starting to die out a little bit here. He actually just set a 17-1. He is still in clean air. He might be stretching out the legs of that cart a little bit too long, maybe making a few mistakes there. No signal to pit in yet, 17-1. He is in the largest bubble yet. Joel is trying to defend from behind as Cart 15 is trying to get on him. Cart 15, of course, is Pittsburgh, who has found himself into third place, but they still have to pit. They still have to pit, so that is uh, something that you really got to keep. Luke is now going to the pits. Your race leader, Luke, is now going back into the pits. So Cecile and Luke are on very similar strategies. So Luke is actually going to come out behind. Luke is going to, oh uh, no, excuse me, Pittsburgh were on pretty similar strategies. So Luke is now in the pit lane, hopping up out of his car, running to the new cart here. Let's see, Pittsburgh one lap behind. I can see him now going across the start finish line. Can he complete this lap before Luke comes out of the pits? Very tense moment here. It actually looks like Cecile's going out of the pits before him. And that is cart 14 for Roan, who is signaling to pit. Cart 14 going to pit. And that is your new race leader, cart 15, I believe, who is in front of Luke. Luke just came out of the pits, but cart 15 still has to pit, I believe. So Let's see how long Luke can stretch the legs of this cart here. See if he can set those fast times again. Yep, there goes the timing sheet. Pittsburgh is now your race leader once again. See if they can make any faster laps happen here. 24 minutes remaining in this race. Cecile moves up into fifth place as Ferone goes down because of his pit stop. He is still buckling up his seatbelt, tightening the belt, making sure he's all nice and safe as of course, safety is number one priority. Thank you, crazy Russian hacker. And we're going to actually see him coming out of the pits here. Is it going to be an unsafe release a little bit here? Oh, Joel has to avoid a little bit. Going, oh, a bit of a squeeze there. Very unsafe, very unsafe. Joel trying to go around the outside and 12 closed the door because they expected him to take the inside. That was quite the incident between those two drivers. A bit of a miscommunication and Definitely slowed down jo Joel there, who was in a bit of a rhythm. Slowed him down by eight tenths of a second, which actually isn't as much as you might have thought. Driver 13, who is Weber, uh, trying to follow cart 20 ahead, going a little bit wide. Cart 20, of course, is Luke. And there goes Pittsburgh into the pits. Drew is now in the driver's seat. Cart number seven, once again, my favorite cart. Should see some fast lap times from him here. Let's see exactly what he can make happen. Buckling his seatbelts, putting those seatbelts over. He is good to go. Why is he stopped? What's going on? Does he have to serve a penalty? Is he serving a penalty? I believe Drew is serving a penalty. Unfortunately, he had to sit stationary for, that is almost an entire lap there. And now he's going to really have to make up a lot of time as he now has the green flag speed four and is out now in fifth position. Let's see exactly whenever the timing sheets will update if he can make any positions up. Yes, that was a very dangerous rejoin, Jaden. Uh, that was not something that you really want to see there. 
Uh, I mean, it was just a bit of a miscommunication from the two drivers, unfortunately, but we are actually past the halfway point now. Luke is still in first position with Weber only two tenths of a second behind. You can actually see the three-way battle going through the final corner here. Weber's looking a bit racy, but you got to remember Ender Beast, she is actually three laps down. She's going to try to unlap herself, maybe capitalize on a bit of Weber's mistakes, a bit too racy maybe. He's trying to go around the outside there, and, he, and Luke just simply closes the gap for him. And Weber is now a bit, of, a bit too far behind to make any moves happen. Weber is 0.39 seconds behind Luke. And I can't wait to see if they actually make any moves happen there. Remember, this is an endurance race, so every, every move will really affect the other driver's consistencies around you. So it does seem with that penalty, Drew is now in sixth place and is trying to make up as much time as he possibly can. The three drivers who were in a battle are starting to um, split up just a tad bit here, unfortunately. Uh, so we won't see any battling from them for at least a few laps. As Actually, just as I say that, Weber's starting to close the gap a little bit. Weber at only 0.4 seconds, so we'll see if in these next few laps here if he's going to either pit, because the pit window for the ideal strategy of nine minute stints is going to open up at 18 minutes here. So we're actually going to see exactly if anything can action. I was actually, Drew sets the fastest lap of the race out of 16.857. He is in a bit of clean air there, going through the hairpin, as you can see, the first hairpin, then the second hairpin. That is Drew, a lot of clean air. He sets a 16.9 again, trying to make up as much time as possible, maybe do a bit of an overcut on these drivers here, extend this cart out a little bit more, try to drive for as long as possible until that cart dies. So the, uh, the stronger end of, the, this, uh, of this grouping here will be out on track longer. I believe they actually still have two pit stops remaining because Drew did start the race. So Drew, that means Drew is going to have to end the race if they're only going to do a full pit stop. That is Ender Beast in the pits now. They're getting cart 17 ready. Ender Beast running out of the pits now, as you can see there on the left-hand side of your screen. The junior seat is going in, and the junior driver is going into cart 17, losing positions as the drivers go past the pit lane here. Luke steals the fastest lap of the race, who is actually still in the lead. Pulls a second gap on Weber behind at a 16.833. Drew basically matches him at a 16.839, 16.869 from Drew. Drew now going out of the straight there, and it looks like that driver number 17 is going to start going out, who is going to be Ender Beast. Once again, they did start in the uh, final position there. So unfortunately, I mean, they started in first position and now they are in last position. So not a great race for them here. See if anybody can make up anything. Luke sets a 16.88. Not a bad lap time from the lad out there in first place who now has over a second gap from the driver behind. And we are officially in a lull here, so. 18 minutes left as Weber dives into the pits with the ideal strategy. Gonna go another nine minutes on this cart here, I believe. And then they're going to, yeah, he's actually in the pits here. See, Joel is now going into the pits. And Luke just passed cart number 12, who is Ferrone, trying to see if they're gonna make anything happen there. And Luke in his cart a little bit sideways out in front there. Luke has been out on this cart for a very, very long time. I mean, at least uh, with what I can remember. 17-7 from Luke because, of course, he had that overtake. He's going to be gaining on Weber ahead there, and he is right up on the tail of Weber. Weber was on the tail of Luke. Luke is now on the tail of Weber. So even with that pit stop, Luke is still two laps ahead. 
I didn't even realize that. What a, oh, excuse me. I just got completely surprised for absolutely no reason there. So Luke is two laps ahead from the pit stop of Weber. So that pit stop only cost him two laps there. I was just, I don't know exactly what happened in my brain there. I made a complete, okay. We're just gonna gloss over that fact. It's been a long race for me. I've been talking for 30 minutes straight, so. I already finished up a water here and I'm on my, I'm on one and a half here. Hopefully I don't lose my voice by the end of this, but. Oh, Drew's getting a bit racy on cart 12 there, trying to pass him. Cart 12, of course, is for Rome. Pittsburgh, Joel is trying to make a move here. He's gonna wait patiently until he, he actually, he's actually gonna try to dive up the inside there. He gives him the inside. Drew thanking him as a nice sign of respect there, not holding up him up as much. And that is Luke, your race leader, going to go into the pits now with 16 minutes remaining. His hand is up high in the air, going down the pit straight. So your race leader, Luke, is now turning right into the pits. Caution flags out for him. And he knows exactly what lane to go into. Let's see if it's a nice clean pit stop for him. Stopping right on the marks, unbuckling his seatbelt, going up over the cart. But see, this, was that a penalty because he didn't go around the back end of the cart there? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, he did, he was at the front. Nope, it's no penalty. No penalty, he's good to go. I wasn't exactly sure because the hunter was talking to him a little bit there. So where does this put Luke? Luke coming out of the pits now in front of Drew, cart number seven. Is Weber your race leader or is Luke still your race leader? Let's see exactly what's happened there. Luke going across the pit lane now. Weber is now your race leader two thirds of the way through this race here in Leedsdale. So Luke had not the greatest pit stop there. I mean, I believe Weber still has to pit. That's the seal is now pitting, but we'll see it. No, Weber has pitted. So Luke, who was your race leader for so long, had a pit stop that was five seconds, six, six or so seconds slower than Weber. So Weber, who was just, oh, there's a caution flag. There's a caution. I didn't exa I was looking at the timing sheet. There's a cart stuck. There's a cart stopped. This plays beautifully for Luke here who lost a bunch of time and his cart is now being towed back to the pits. Did he run the cart all the way until it died or what exactly happened? His cart is now being towed back to the pit lane. I'm, I'm terrible with the camera, excuse me. I'm sorry about that, but this, this is really very, very interesting because this might be a long yellow. These carts are now stopped on the straight. And you know what that means? A brand new race start with a rolling start of all of these carts bound up. This is very interesting to see exactly what happened. Cecile was in the middle of his pit stop and the caution came out. So I wonder where that's actually gonna put him. Is he gonna be able to do a full lap or is he gonna start from the pit lane? This has never happened here. A caution this late into the race and it was from a cart failure. The cart just died out on the outside. I wonder if he hit the emergency stop. I wonder if something mechanically really, really went wrong for that cart there. Cecile is coming out of the pits. I wonder. Very interesting here. So the clock is still running. So most of these drivers were going long on their pit strategies and really with this caution they should have pitted so Luke is actually in a great position now because he just pitted he has a fresh cart 
So now we have cart 16. He is going around another lap to rejoin. And that's going to actually be able to have them unlap themselves by one lap. If I'm not mistaken. So let's see what the timing sheets say. Those laps did count. So on the 101st lap here in Leedsdale, there was a caution flag. They're trying to figure out exactly what's going on. And because that cart caused the failure, they're going to be all the way at the back end of the pack. So not only are they five laps down, they're another lap down. Unless they actually unlap themselves, but... Let's see what's happening. So, I, okay, the carts are off. I believe they're starting their formation lap. They are on speed too. We have 11 minutes left in this race here. So let's see exactly what's going to happen. Drew taking the shortest line possible, trying to bunch up again to Luke. Luke hits the, there's a bunch of carts hitting the barrier there. And let's see, it is. Green flag here at Leedsdale for the second time. Drew does not get a very great start out of the exit. And Drew, Joel is trying to capitalize on that. And let's see exactly where that puts everybody. Drew gets a little bit sideways. We got an 11 lap sprint here. A lot of these drivers, as Drew actually raises his hand to go into the pits, because he, of course, still has a nut. He still has two pit stops remaining, I believe. Drew is diving straight back into the pits after the caution flag. So he is not going to have any contest to Joel behind. Joel gets a bit of a bad exit, giving Weber a little bit to look at on the back end of him. So Weber is in first place, Luke in second, Pittsburgh third, Joel fourth, Enderbeast in fifth, Cecile sixth, and Ferrone in seventh. So Weber, interestingly enough, is one lap ahead of Luke. Does that have to do with the caution flag or was that already happening? I'm not entirely sure myself. But there goes Pittsburgh coming out of the pits in cart 10. Unfortunate timing for that caution flag for Team Pittsburgh. So they are now in fourth. They have found themselves in fourth place. Weber raised his hand. Oh, raising his hand got him a little bit squirrely out of that exit there and hit the wall. That's not going to help his time for this end lap as of course he wanted to be as quick as possible. He is now raising his hand for a second time going into the pit lane. They are getting his cart ready for him. And he has stopped right on the marker, hurrying up, getting out of the getting out of the cart now. Luke has just pitted, so of course, he is now your race leader. Luke is now your race leader by, I believe, he just went across the, uh, the start finish line. Weber is about to get lapped again, or is he? Luke going through the penultimate corner, going through the final corner now on the front stretch. And Luke is not going to, uh, Luke is not going to be able to, un to lap Weber but Weber has a, a lot of time to make up with only eight minutes remaining. Does Weber have another pit stop to go? Because I don't know if Luke does. Luke might have another pit stop. I wasn't keeping track, but let's see when these drivers decide to pit. Because of course that was a quite long caution for these drivers. Sorry, I just had to take a drink of water there. I've been talking a lot here recently. Well, we got 12, uh, 12 people watching right now. Thanks for tuning in here for this endurance race. Thank you for everybody who is watching here. And uh, it looks like Luke is now going into the pit lane. He is raising his hand nice and high, which makes him go into the pits because, of course, he doesn't have complete control over his cart, which that is going to put Weber into an interesting position. Bit of an unsafe release there. Not out of the pits, unfortunately, so... 
Joel raising his hand nice and high going into the pits with seven minutes remaining. So now we have a sprint race to the finish. These are the driver's final pit stops. Luke making his final pit stop now. And he is buckling up. Let's see how long this pit stop is. This really needs to be a good one if Luke wants to win this race. That was a great pit stop from Luke, already coming out of the pits. Driver going a little bit into the wall with cart four there. Maybe not so used to the speeds of these carts as that's a bit of an unsafe release there. Cart 10 having to lift, but of course that is a lap driver, so I don't think that really cares, but Weber is now your race leader. He's had an amazing race so far. I believe he has all of his pit stops accounted for. Hopefully he does. Because if he doesn't, then Luke still has the title here as your Enduro winner. Very, very interesting. I cannot wait until we see who this race winner is, see the podium. Uh, why was he pointing? Cart 16 was pointing to the, to the first corner there. I wonder what that means. Are the, the officials going to take it as he wants to pit? Because he was just pointing forward. I wonder exactly what's going to happen there. Nope. The officials did not take it as he wants to pit. Why is he pointing his finger up towards the board? Is his cart not happening? Is his cart not going? That's correct, Ferone. If you look here, it's Ferone and Cecile. Their laps are not being counted. Wow. Okay, so their bottom two drivers, they're stuck at lap 96 and 99, which that is when the caution flag came out. So I'm not exactly sure what happened there with their timing sheets, but it's not being counted. Very, very unfortunate for them as their laps are just, yeah, that, that's just not a very great situation to be in as having a technical difficulty such as that. But once again, 100, you just hit your 120th lap. 121st this is what Weber just went on. And he just actually set his fastest lap of the race. 16, 8, 9, 5, which is quite quick. There's a bit of a scruffle. Oh, going right into the wall. A bit of a pinch there. Didn't realize that she wasn't clear under Beast and just squeezed. Uh, who is that? I believe Ferone into the wall. Man, just this actually happened last week with Scooter Stu. Great, uh, which I actually want to wish Stu. Oh, wait. That's Drew in the pits. Sorry, Stu. Just give me a moment. I'll, I'll give you a recognition here in a little bit. But Drew is now in the pits for his final pit stop. Only three minutes and 50 seconds remaining. So this is really going to be a sprint race. Let's see where he comes out of the pits. There goes Joel. <laughs> Looks like Drew is waving to the fans there, saying hi to everybody. Luke with the fastest lap of the race, 16.765 out of nowhere. What a, whoa, what a lap from him. Just hit every single mark there. Caught me by surprise. That was an amazing lap from him. He's got to keep doing those and hope that Weber has a cart failure to get this race dub here. But Weber is on the, the uh, fastest, not the fastest lap, the lead lap. He is definitely going to be a driver once again that you're going to want to look out for for this league. Drew is looking racy against part number eight here, who unfortunately, once again, I believe that's Ferrone. His laps are not being counted. Cart number eight and cart number nine, and then cart number six following. So Luke is actually in one of the fastest carts here. That would explain why. His lap times are so great. That, that uh, cart set the whole lap, actually, for the endurance race previously. So, I mean, great cart, great driver, going to make for a great lap time. Two minutes and 26 seconds remaining here at Three Rivers Cart, and there is already a bit of a battle happening. 
going through the uh, penultimate corner. Drew trying to get past, and it's just losing so much time. He cannot find a way past. Let's see if he bumps him wide here. He does bump him a little wide with Luke helping him behind there. Luke, of course, is trying to run towards Weber. Not going to help him being in traffic there. Drew does get the inside, which will also give Luke the inside. And he's just going to have to yield all these positions. Get a bit of a pinch. Weber is going to try to unlap himself here. Can Weber? No, Weber is going to try to lap Luke for a second time. Weber, of course, is your race leader. One minute and 38 seconds remaining. Only got a few laps remaining. What a race we have had so far here. I just want to thank you guys all for joining in. Once again, Stu. Stu is going to be getting a kidney replacement or a kidney transplant or something like that. So, Stu, if you are watching, I want to wish you the greatest luck in surgery. And hopefully we can see you guys, see you back here in the fall. You are an amazing driver to race against. And uh, not only race against, you're an amazing person and uh, always someone I like to talk to. So I hope you have a successful surgery. Great job on getting a kidney. And uh, hopefully everything goes well and you have a speedy recovery. With that being said, 48 seconds remaining of this 45 minute race, endurance race. It was an interesting one. It was definitely something that you really, really need to be watching the whole thing for, as there was luckily stuff happening for the entire race. The white flag is going to be waved for Weber. He is on his final lap. We're gonna zoom in to the finish line here, and we're going to see our race winner go across the finish line, going through the penultimate corner. Your race winner, Anthony Weber. Anthony Weber, 137 laps going across the finish line in first place. Second place, Luke. Third place goes to Joel. Fourth place, Pittsburgh, AKA Drew and Pittsburgh. Ender Beast in fifth, Cecile sixth, and Ferone in seventh. Unfortunately, their lap times were not counting, but here goes Anthony. Sorry for the shaky, uh, shaky camera here, but I, I just need to give him a bit of recognition. When is his cart going to be off of the caution for him to do his victory lap? This is a very sad victory lap so far. I mean, come on, put him on speed four, somebody. There he goes. Uh, it's speed two, but anyway, good job, Anthony. Great race. Nice and consistent, good race win there. Nice victory lap for you. And uh, hopefully we can get a bit of driver interviews after this. That would be something, wouldn't it? So uh, thank you guys all for tuning in. And I'm actually going to go ahead and talk to the drivers real quick. Uh, stay tuned and I'm going to ask them if they want to do any interviews with us here. So uh, we'll just wait and 